Hey everyone, hope you are good. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to analyze the YouTube data of Alex the Analyst. I have picked up a couple of playlists and I have you know got the data using Python. If you want to know how to get this kind of data, check this video in the description where I have shown you how to get extract data from a particular playlist in YouTube. So we are going to use basically two playlists today. So we'll use the data analyst bootcamp playlist which has 58 videos. And we'll also use the Alex the Analyst Show playlist, which has 23. So we'll have about 81 videos totally to analyze. So I've already got the data here, as you see. So I have the name of the title, like of the video, when it was published, the views, the comments, the likes, the month and year it was published and so on. Like we have data. So we're going to work with this and build a SQL portfolio project, right? So let's get started. First of all, let's see how many videos are there as you see we have 81 videos right so first thing let's see how many sql videos has alex put so we can say select star from this and then you could say where title name right that's the name of the uh, column and say like sql right this will show us videos which are like sql which contain the word sql Okay, we have 18 videos he has posted. As you see, you have some intermediate, basic, and even advanced videos as well. So I'll just save these queries and I'll share that Google Doc also with you. Uh, let me just put it here. And name it Alex Project. Okay, so this was a very quick question. So which videos contain SQL. Suppose we want to do the same for Excel. What would we do? We would go and say Excel. Right. So now we have the Excel videos like XLOOKUP, pivot tables, conditional formatting, right? He has put all these videos. So next up, let's see which video got the most views in these two playlists put together. So I can say order by views descending. Simple query and actually the data analyst portfolio project on SQL data exploration, this has got the most views, right? And this is exactly uh, current data. So if you want to cross check this, for example, this video 1106558, we could simply go to the bootcamp playlist. And we can check for the portfolio project. I think it's this one. As you see, it's 1.1 million views, right? So it's the same data what we have here. So this video got the most number of views. So this is another interesting question. Okay, I'll just remove this and I'll put this here. I'll save it later. So this is another query. Okay, let's do something else. Let's see which video got the best ratio for number of likes to number of views. So to do that, what we can do, we can select star, right? We basically, we select everything. And we also say likes to views, right? We show the ratio. And we can even give it an alias name, right? Let's say likes divided by views. And as uh, let's say likes ratio or something, and we can order by likes ratio descending. Okay. Now I'll run this query. So actually free data analyst bootcamp. This has the best likes to views ratio. Although views is only 2.225 thousand, uh, but likes are still very good. So this has the best likes to view ratios of all these videos we have taken in this playlist. So I'll also copy this query and put it here. 
okay next up let's see how many unique months alex has posted so to do this i can simply go here and say i have a column called distinct like year month so i can say distinct year month right the unique number of months where alex has posted and i'll also remove this okay i'll close this and it should work now so we have 32 months yes unique posted so april december june 2020 plenty of months in 2021 2022 and of course jan feb march i think he posts every sunday or tuesday if i remember right so he has posted in every month right so this gives us the unique months where uh, alex has posted so i'll go and save this query also and let's go back to the original table and let's see few more use cases so as you see alex has posted uh, videos on sql excel python and all that uh, let's see how many videos he has posted in uh, each type right so we can write a case statement for this so i can say uh, let's say case when so title name so when title name like let's say python so i'll just put yto n so then we call it python and i can just copy this right just to check for other kind of videos so i can say when title name like let's say sql then i call it sql okay when title name like i think he's also posted on tableau and power bi so let me put tableau i'll just put like this and i'll call this tableau then what else we have i think we have uh, excel and power bi right so let me put them here in the like statement so i'll call this excel um i think we have power bi pending so i'll just include that as well i just put like owr because that's anyways part of power bi so power bi you can say else other else other right and we can say n dash type and i can do a count of star right i want to count in each how many videos have come and let's say group by type so this should give us the videos in each type so as you see here sql 18 videos python 13 videos excel 7 videos tableau 5 power bi has put 9 videos others are 29 videos this also includes videos from the i think alex the analyst show he has like 20 odd episodes in that and also some resume linkedin videos i think so i'll also save this query so this is a nice use case of case statement to see how many videos in each category he has put right so let's clear this and let's see is there a specific month he has posted a lot of videos so i can say year month comma count of star and then just group by year month just to see if there is a specific month right so i can say order by count of star descending just to see if there is a specific month where he has posted a lot of videos and i think we have the output here let's see so december 2020 and march 2020 has put six videos that are the highest but otherwise you see he has posted 5 4 3 he is generally consistent with posting one video week i think so this is nice insight to see i'll also save this query and uh, let's do a few more things with the data let me go back to the original data again and run this cool so let's see for instance 
if there are like any videos right like per month let's see the total number of views and let's see if there are any months where there are views more than a million so how can we do that so to do that we can say year month and we can sum of the views right and mind you this is based on the month when this video was posted right the based on the publishing date and then i can group by year month let's say having this sum of views greater than a million right that is a million and order by let's say year month let's see how many months have more than a million views based on the videos uh, publishing date only march 2020 the videos published in march 2020 and may 2021 right these are the videos which have more than a million views accumulated total so we have got a nice use case of the having statement also cool all right let's do one more thing uh, just to have a use case for say window functions let us to choose two random months let's say uh, october and november 2020 for instance and let's see what was the percentage change in the number of views so i will just do um, year month and sum of views and i want only for october and november 2020 so i'll say where year is 2020 and month in i can say 10 comma 11 right october is 10 november is 11 and i can group by year month this is step number 1 let me run this video run this uh, query so we get the values like there's not much change now how do you find a uh, percentage change so for that let me just order by year month here first step so when i order by year month you will see october coming on top uh okay november is still coming on top i think it's doing like alphabetical order i guess so what we can do now um let's say descending so that we get october on top because it's text so n is coming before the o i guess so we have like this so we can put this whole thing let's say sum of views i call it as total views right this is a first step and i can put this whole thing in a cte so i can say with final as we have done this multiple times and then from final what i need to know is i want to select um basically total views comma i want to find the lag of total views and then i say over simply put order by year month descending okay and then i say from final so let's see what we'll get okay year month i think we should give a space here now the query should work so as you guys see here so for this month and i i think i also need to have the year month here right just to see that data as well so i just select and as you see right for november 195621 for the previous month of november which was october you have 197466 so compared to the previous month it has actually gone down right by writing lag function you can see how it has done compared to previous month right so this is another interesting use case of the lag function so i'll just save this query and uh, i guess that's pretty much it right we saw case statement group by having where clause like operator we also did now windows function like lag we use the with class ct i think i'll copy this and so yeah this is a nice uh, i would say practical project for you all to practice so i'm going to attach the link to this doc with the code use it as your portfolio project 
and yeah we're going to see a lot of more videos like this practical data from actual youtubers and other live sources and analyze it using sql python excel if you stay till this point do subscribe to the channel stay tuned for interesting videos i'll see you again in another video till then take care bye